Hey everybody, Charlie Runner 2 here, and welcome back to Disco Elysium, the final cut. When we last left off, we were at the pawn shop, and we're going to talk to Bird's Nest Roy here, and see if we can find a tape with a melody on it. Let's begin. Hey Roy, what do you know? Hello, hello. Let me know if I can help you with anything. The boombox I bought, it should play this tape, right? Of course. It's in working order still, isn't it? Just pick your tape and set it spinning. It all starts with the tape. Guns, guns. Know anything about the traffic menace on the loose? Traffic? I'm sorry, officer, but I don't drive. That was me. But didn't you hear it when it when the uh, traffic menace drove over your roof? Now that I think about it, I do remember hearing a thunderous noise the other night. Some kind of powerful electric vortex hitting the shop, and then moving on. Okay, but you seem pretty chill about it. That sure narrows down our list of suspects. But we... Come on, Kim, we know it was me. A vortex sounds fascinating. Yeah, it was pretty wild. I didn't really know what to make of it, but I know it meant something. Uh, what we got to sell? Sure. Let me have a look. I have some armor. Yeah, I have some armor. All right. Let's see it. Just look at this awesome cuirass. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't need bloodthirsty mercenaries knocking on my door looking for their missing toys. I figured as much. Besides, this gear costs a fortune. There's no one in Martinez with that kind of money. Just give me all the money you got. Uh, photo of a corpse. Check my pockets. Anything else you're thinking of selling? See, I don't know what I should keep and what I should sell. I mean, to be quite honest, I should probably just keep everything. Oh, they did say to sell this. But I kind of want to keep it. Liquid or earthly blue tint. Kind that might or might not, but definitely does glow in the dark. Pure alcohol. Keep away from open flames. See, like, I feel like I might be able to use that, but you know what? Let's sell that. Pawn it. The game specifically told me to pawn it. All right, let's bring this grouse to uh, Garth. Oh, I got a journal. Okay. All right, let's head out of here. Don't have anything Another to sell. Time, have other business. Nothing up here. No All tapes. The old boom boxes up. And still the street Typical lamp. Martinez street light sits among assorted floor and table lamps. Need 700 real to buy that streetlight. You won't, like, trade me a cuirass for it? Let's see if the vendor across the way has a tape or two. We need to increase... the anodic dance music to uber hardcore, or hyper hardcore. Everything's still cool here, officer. Do you sell tapes? Tapes? You mean like music tapes? No, music is out. Don't listen to music. I sell extremely cool sunglasses. If you want to get your mojo going. He points at the shoddy box on the left. Over here. All right, so you have no idea whatsoever where I could find tapes? Tapes? Tapes are everywhere. They're worthless. Kids throw them in the trees. There's one in the bushes right behind this lorry. All right, grab me that one. No one would ever throw a good pair of high-quality plastic sunglasses in the bushes, mister. His smile widens. To the west, dark brown ribbons of tape hang from the tree, flowing in the wind. Okay, so you say to the west. In my pea brain, I think north is the top of the screen, south is the bottom, east is the right, and west would be the left of the screen. 
but we've already established that that wasn't correct. Uh, somebody gave us directions earlier that seemed off from that. He said the back of his truck. Now, I can only assume either this or this is his truck. They're both facing this way, which would mean the west is up this way, which would mean north is over in this bottom corner, east is in this corner, and south is this way, where it says main menu, which I just now found pops up, and a question mark. So, let's see if we're right here. You should have a look. It's better than nothing. I'll leave you to it. So, this is where my pea brain says West is. There's a pawn shop there, so it's not that. The back of his truck. Is it here? Where it? Okay, now I'm just super confused. Said it's hanging in a bush. Uh oh, we're stuck on that. Here's a tree. There's a tree. Okay. Maybe this is his truck. Oh, here we go. So to the west. This is the west. If we were standing here, then that's bottom right corner is west which means bottom left corner is north top left corner east this corner south all right so we're we're turned around all right let's grab this the hawthorn tree on rue de songe's lane bronze colored ribbons of magnetic tape are caught in its branches fluttering in the breeze all right in before a interfacing our savoir faire check just like promised you've stood here for what seems interfacing like aeons, guzzling the sickly fumes of lorries and carriages 92 percent grab it with slow and deliberate motions pulling bending and unraveling you manage to extricate the magnetic tape from the branches oh it's happening what did we roll we rolled a five, uh, we had a five plus two equals seven and then three on modifiers. How does that give us 15? Five plus two. Oh, we had a, a base of five plus seven. Oh, okay. I see how that works. Continue. It curls up into a mess inside your pocket. If only you could find a way to re-spool it so that you could hear what's on the tape. Well, I have an empty spool. Maybe Roy from the pawn shop can help you with this. Maybe Roy can help. What's the tape for? It's for Egghead, man. Have you not been paying attention, Kim? The murder is not important. Anotic dance music for unity is what's important. It's for Egghead. I promise to make Van X jam hit a bit harder. Maybe this tape can help. How? It's broken and unspooled. Do you think your new buddy knows how to fix it? I'm not sure, but I'll find out. Maybe I can point me in the right direction. I think at least one of the ravers would know how to fix a broken tape if they were, if they want to set up a nightclub. He has to. He's a master of ceremonies at all. After all, I'm not sure. We'll talk to Egghead, even though I'm going to see Bird's Nest Roy. You could also get it fixed at the pawn shop across the street. We shouldn't waste our time. He looks at, his, looks at his wristwatch a little impatiently. Where do you have to be, Kim? Huh? Where do you have to be? You haven't mentioned a wife or kids. I appear to be your friend for some reason. This disaster of a man you have befriended because you apparently have no one else. Just go with it. Let the music take over. Good idea. He might have the tools. The tape projector in the pawn shop uses similar tape. Um, we're not going to punch or pat the tree. That's very weird. Leave. Okay. All right, we're running. We got to go get this tape fixed. This is how we're going to solve the problems of the world. Disco is gone. Clearly, disco is a good thing that people remember fondly. 
He said, music is no longer cool, it's out. That's how we're going to heal the world, man, with music. All right, Roy, help us out. Hello, hello. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Hey, can you fix this, brother? You mean Reese Poli? Yeah, I do, but... Gr great, could you do it, please? This is important. I need to be able to play this tape for someone. But I'm not some Mr. Fix-It. I'm a pawnbroker. If you want to pawn the tape, sure. Although it looks pretty... worthless. Wait, but you tinker with film tapes all the time, isn't that the same? Worthless? It's not worthless, Roy. This could be the next big thing for the local dance music scene. Hmm, maybe you could help me some other way then. Huh? He slowly, what do you mean? He slowly taps his fingers on the counter. Do you know that old church down the coast? Yes. What about it? I helped some young ravers turn this place into a nightclub. And they play these weird beats there, which they call anodic music. Is it any good? The music, I mean. No, that's the thing. You can't believe how unbelievably thin the beat is. There's got, there's nothing to it. No bass. It just goes bzz, bzz, bzz. But this tape could make it hardcore. Man, you're really invested in this. He looks at the bundle of tape in front of him. It shimmers under the shop's... It shimmers, not shimmer. It shimmers under the shop's dazzling light show. Okay, I'll help you out. It's going to take a moment, though. So just sit back and relax. Well, thanks. All right, it's 940. You take some time to look around the store. The play of visuals all around the pawn shop is mesmerizing. Suddenly, Roy turns back to you with a reel of tape in his hand and coughs. 15 minutes. Fair enough. Thanks for the help. Yeah, my pleasure. I'll do what I can for true passion project. Just try not to use this tape for negative photon emissions. Take responsibility. Okay. First nest, Roy, you are okay. You are okay. Alright, I'm not going to head straight over. Though, I really secretly want to. We're going to try to maximize our time out of each day. Um, they were talking that the mercenaries are going to just start murdering the Union at some point. Which, I mean, to be honest, is that really the worst thing? Um... But we're going to try to stop that. We're cops. We're going to try to do the right thing. And uh, we need to solve this case. But I also want to do these side cases. So I want to maximize time. Let's give this bird to Gart while we're over here. And then I think we're going to go talk to... Uh, what was her name? Joyce, was it? The lady on the boat? We may want to talk to... I forget his name. Titus or something like that. All right, Gart, you've been looking at this same bird for four days straight. It's time to move on, man. Ah, smallest church in Saint-Saëns, right? The cafe manager is waiting for you to acknowledge that he recognized the song. Yeah, the church is actually my past. Yeah, the church is actually my life. Yeah, the church is actually my love. Things are really bad with it. I effing rocked that shit. Told you I'd rock that shit. We'll go with told you I'd rock it, because we totally did. It was alright. Subdued. I might start letting people up there again. Now, what can I do for you? This is it. This is the grand epiphany. I'm 100% right. Look, look at Gart. Because of music, he is now thinking about letting people up there again. He's thinking about lowering his walls and having a more positive outlook on life because we put ourselves out there and sung from the heart, soulfully. Um, I found a new bird. What is this thing? It doesn't sound like he likes it. It's no biggie. I just thought it would look nice on the wall. I'm that kind of cop. What, the interior decorating kind? You know... I'm sorry, this is actually a nice bird. A competent piece of taxidermy. Exactly. He inspects the bird somewhat suspiciously. Then mellows. I can fix it to the plaque and have a new bird in the establishment, I guess. So, I don't know. Thank you. I'm going to go with thank you. Thank you's enough, but you didn't even have to say that. Maybe a hug. 
I feel good about our work here today. It's all about the little things, like bringing people random stuffed animals. I want to help Kim out too. I feel like Kim. I feel like Kim needs a hug too. I feel like everybody just needs a hug. Can we be hug cop? It's not actually about that, but he liked it. Ooh, I do have money for my bill. Here you go. Got the twenty real. Yeah, I do, cause I have turned over a new leaf, and I'm good guy cop, and I pay my dues. Good. You got the room for the night, but remember, you'll need another twenty real tomorrow. Exactly. Thanks, Gart. All right, I'm feeling very positive about what we're doing now. We are, we are affecting some change upon the world. Hey, uh, Titus, you don't want to talk, do you? Is it Titus? It's it is Titus. Again. What is it? Or Titus. Hey, man, I just want to see how you were doing, make sure everything was okay. I found someone who saw the hanging, a witness. Should we tell him that? Godly! Week when you first met. Discussed the eighth hearty, confronted about drug trade. Talked to Joyce, the murk you, the murk you hanged. His friends are coming for you. That's what they want, though. This whole thing is deliberate. Right? It's deliberate. This is designed to get us here, to get international involvement with politics, everything. These guys want to separate to be their own, basically their own sovereign entity, their own nation state. This is how they want to spark it. I mean, because otherwise they could have just killed the guy and threw him in the... the the sea or, or wherever, or threw them down a well somewhere, but they publicly displayed them. And they did that for a reason. Um, you know what? Let's let them know the Merc, because like, this is what he wants to hear. Let's let them hear it. Yeah. My friends. You mean his squad mates from Cronell. Exactly. Wouldn't want to beat up his grandma. Wouldn't want to beat up his grandma. Okay, come on, man. Don't be beating up people's grandmas. There's snickering in the room. Some of the men put their beers down. Yeah, they're forming some sort of tribunal, and they're coming for you. This is what happens if you take the law into your own hands. Other people start doing it, too. Hey, good advice, Kim. Let them come. The hardy boys are right fucking here. I don't know if you guys know this, but there's a book series about you guys. Blondie yells across the cafeteria. You heard the man. Right here. We're armed. We got the whole district behind us. And Glenn. Glenn is fucking crazy. I believe it. I believe that Glenn is crazy. I believe that most of you guys are probably crazy. Yeah. I will oil it more than my chin. He punches Blondie on the shoulder. The mood is on the rise. They're feeling confident. Ready to punch out the whole Merc platoon. Should we tell them the the uh, the fable about the giant hornet that can kill 40 bees a minute? This Cronell is bad news. You know that, right? Mercenaries are armed with automatic weapons. Joyce said they've gone rogue. Nobody's controlling them. That is fair enough. Let's say that. Big fucking surprise. They hire psycho scum, arm them to the teeth, and let them loose in the city. What do you think is gonna happen? It's bad news. <laughs> so are the local gangs, the fucking Barmy army, and the Madre scum. You've been out there, seen any around? Fair enough. Yeah. What are they now, huh? Send back to Madre in an airtight cargo crate. These people are trained military professionals with decades of combat experience. They are not a gang or a barmy army. No, they're not. They're uncoordinated and drunk. We know more about them than you think. They're armed with automatic weapons. We got weapons of our own. We got Easter 50s, Zilagars. Glenn's got a knock cannon at home. Will they pierce ceramic armor? I guess we're gonna see. Aren't we? Yeah. That was an unsure phrasing. See what? That they don't? 
Yeah. Like you've been up against ceramic armor. He takes a sip of beer to buy his time, then tries to get the last word in. You haven't even seen the whole suit, right? I've seen the whole fucking thing, and it didn't make him immortal. Okay. What do you mean, okay? I mean, okay, they're going to wipe the F out of you, Titus. I mean, okay, you've got this. You've got the numbers. I mean, okay, I'll be on your side when they come. I mean, okay, you've got one more gun on your side once I find mine. I've lost it. I mean, okay, I guess I'll be gunning you down right along beside them. All right, they're going to kill you. You're going to kill them. I'm going to join you. I'm going to join you once I find my gun. Or I'll be gunning them down right alongside you. I mean, we're going to say we think that the mercs are going to kill these guys. No, they won't. Get out of here with your negative energy. He shakes his beer at you. All he means is that the situation is serious. No wonder you cops get shot to shit every day. Can't go to war with an attitude like that. Wow, look look at this. Plus one. Plus one. Negative one. Plus two. Still have a 3%. Now we do have authority of negative one. We can probably try to boost that. This is a white check. All right, let's read this. Found someone who saw the hanging, a witness. A witness? You ain't got shit. The locals would never come to you with this. That's just a tactic, Titus. Next, he's gonna tell you one of us already roll on the others, and he's in witness protection. My witness isn't a local. Well, let's hear it then. Who is your mystery fella? He's not alarmed by the sudden appearance of a witness, but he is surprised. This goes without saying. But nonetheless, don't give out his name. <laughs> and then just immediately give it out. Let's say he's a high-ranking government official and leave it at that. Yeah, right. Like we wouldn't know if an MI plant was in our town. Nice try, right? Titus looks over his shoulder at his men. MI is short for Moral Intern. Moral Intern is short for Moralist International. The coalition that runs Rivershaw. I've seen this shit a million times, Titus. Fly fishing. They are desperate. The last copper. What wacky claims did he make? The witness said the hanging went down very quietly. No shouting, no commotion. The witness said he saw two people of Areopagic descent and one mask. witness said it all looked like a surreal play. Let's do the descent because that's very specific. Areopagite descent and one mesk. Arabagite? <laughs> Boss, I think he's trying to say me and Theo. Well, yeah. What is confusing you? Eugene, Theo, and Elaine were there too. I already told you. We were all there. The witness said the hanging went down very quietly. No shouting, no commotion. It's you assholes that feel the need to go around like a fucking brass band. The Hardy Boys are dead silent. Are you really, though? Yeah. It's like they put cowbells on you before they send you to the streets. What's with the cowbells, policeman? He says provokingly. They're avoiding having to answer this question. I'd imagine you guys drinking and singing lynching songs. What's with the funeral silence? We were drinking, weren't we, guys? I hit the bottle hard. I was drunk as fuck. Are you ever not drunk? Right, I'm convinced, Glenn. Nothing off here. Just a regular hanging. The witness said it all looked like a surreal play. Those flaccid M.I. cocks with their culture language. Everything's a surreal play or sublime whatever. Doesn't mean anything. But it does mean that you believe I have a witness. Which is enough to, to put some pressure on you. It means the whole scene was long and drawn out. Like it was from a film. What is this fella's problem? Sorry we didn't make it more action-packed. It wasn't the first thing on our minds, you see? The little guy addresses everyone and no one. Chanky. It's Chanky, right? 
I thought there's something wrong about the lynching story. Now I know there was. He doesn't wait for an answer. You don't know shit. I know you are lying, Shinky. Enough about the witness. Some witness. I pulled the same shit. Came up with some shit. Then went and said it to people. Get a reaction. Don't have to go to cop school to try that. Cop school's pretty cool, though. You don't have to go to school for shit. I never went to school, and I'm doing great. Clearly. You're doing a hell of a job, man. Hell of a job. Eugene, are you just the hype man? So much bluster to hide the fact that they're uncomfortable with you having this Ah, uh, So I've got a lot of plus ones here and plus two. So let's take our negative one off. Let's talk about the hanging again. Again. <laughs> Good one, Titus. No, no about question. fucking. All right, let's change our gear and become more authoritative. All right, close. All right, first of all, what is taking our authority down? Man from him, y'all. Take that away. All right, authority. I need to get this stuff. Um, let's put on the armor. Yeah, we're going to wear armor to you. I need to get this stuff more organized is what I was trying to say. While I was looking for something that will boost my authority. Empathy. Logic. Okay, I think we might we might have a shot. Oh, what is this? The white ceramic cuirass hugs your torso, shielding your vitals without adding much bulk to your form. Your movements cause tiny little clicks, like dice rolling somewhere far away. As the plates reorient to your motions. I will be responsible for this. With this. Man, if I could read. I will be responsible with this. This is just to protect me from harm, not to show off. Decked out in future armor like a cop ought to be. Like a robocop. You know what? Let's go with it. Let's go ham with it. We're decked out in future armor. The hardened vitreous enamel. At once sleek and voluptuous, adds a glow to your cheeks and a spring to your step. Just imagine what a full suit of this stuff could do for you. You really do feel more confident. Invulnerability does that. Even partial invulnerability. This is long sought after enemy technology. I can't just enjoy it. I must study it. Remember, this is a highly specialized kinetic redistributor meant to stop bullets. Wear it. Observe its properties. See if there's a weakness in the design. Exactly. That's actually that's actually useful. And I have a thought for that. I might I might internalize this thought. For the day you have to fight someone covered in the same material. Hey, thanks, Captain Obvious Half Light. Let's talk to Titus see again. You again. What is it? Well, I mean, as you can clearly see, I never even left, so you saying it's you again? Kinda silly. How is this 8%? Plus 1, plus 1, plus 2, plus 1. Let's try it. Establish authority. Yes. Authority. Feverish thoughts race through your mind. Kim, I need your gun. I'm the only one keeping this town going for hell, and you're not helping. Point your finger. First, tell me, you tell me someone's ready, but then you don't say who. That's bullshit. Stomp your feet? That's it? That's all I got? Did you already try the gun thing? I hear the gun thing is excellent and has great results. Oh, no. You're probably right. The others are only there for filler to make the gun thing pop. I don't want to use the gun thing. I only one keeping this town from going to hell, and you're not helping. And what exactly is it you've been doing that's so goddamn special? Shitting yourself in front of us. Going around. Harassing kids on the street. Kids who've done nothing wrong. Who've I harassed? All the while talking racist shit. Don't think we aren't watching fascia. People here trust us. We're getting complaints. What have I done that's racist? Fascia, 
That's short for fascist. I don't even have a gun. What are you talking about? Guns are the only thing you have. Waving them around old ladies' faces, trying to gun down kids. Kali said they've been trying to set up a mass execution. Both purchasing guns, ammunition too. He shakes his head in disdain. I can believe that. Carly works in a gun shop, you see. Oh my god, the art. They're using it against you. This is all a twisted fantasy. I like how you spell that with a PH. There's no mass execution of Israel. Just ask questions and don't get sidetracked. Please don't set up a mass execution. You'll never be able to pull it off. The logistics alone are insane. Just ask questions. Be a normal cop. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to be a mass execution cop. All right, we're going to let him go back to his table. We'll come back once we've uh, thrown another point into authority. And... Uh, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy my content, please consider a like, a comment, and or a subscribe. And stay tuned for the next episode. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.